All right, let's go through and correct our topic one assessment for second grade. Tom draws seven bugs. Gina draws four bugs. How many bugs did they draw in all? Which shows how to count on to solve the problem. So again, we're starting at seven and we're counting up four times. So our answer is going to be A, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Look, we did four hops. So that's why A is the correct answer. All right, let's go ahead and look at, Lily has seven fish. Jack has one more fish than Lily. Does Jack have one fish? No, he has one more than Lily. And if Lily has seven, Jack has one more. More means to plus, plus one. So, which equations show how many fish in all? So we know Lily, I'm gonna make an L for Lily, has seven fish. And Jack has seven plus one fish. Seven plus one equals eight. So seven plus eight equals 15. Now there's a couple different answers. It says choose all that apply. Well, seven plus eight isn't gonna help us find our total. Help us find what Jack has, but it's not gonna be one. Seven plus seven plus one equals 15 will help us out. So that is a correct answer. Seven plus seven is 14. Well, no, we know the total is 15. But seven plus eight also equals 15. So we have two answers for number two. Okay, number three. Use the 10 frames. Show how to find the sum of eight plus seven by making 10. Then fill in the gray boxes. So we're gonna take these over here. We're gonna fill up the 10 frame first. So we have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna take some from the bottom. Let's see, I'm gonna take these two. One, two, one, two. So I'm gonna fill up that 10 frame. So 10 right here, plus one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So 10 plus five equals 15, and eight plus seven also equals 15. So make sure you have your answers in each of those boxes. Okay, which has a sum of 18? Choose all that apply. So let's go ahead through. 10 plus eight equals 18, nice. Nine plus eight equals 17. Nine plus nine equals 18. And eight plus 10 equals 18. So we actually have three on that one that are correct. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number four. And we'll go through and start correcting this. <clears throat> Seven friends go to the movies. They have four tickets. How many more tickets do they need? Draw lines to match each solution to how it was solved. So you're gonna be drawing lines across and we're gonna be checking them. So let's take a look um, at how they're doing it. Seven, oh sorry, seven, six, five, four. So on that one, we know that they are counting backwards, right? Seven, six, five, four, counting backwards. Seven minus four equals three. On that one, they are using a subtraction fact. That's a fact, seven minus four equals three. For C, they have four, five, six, seven. That is counting on, they're counting up to add. And the last one, is four plus three equals seven is an addition fact. All right, number six, Nita has 14 grapes. She eats six of them. So when she says eats, is that adding or subtracting? So let's take a look what we need to find in total. Which addition fact can help you find how many grapes Nita had left? So we're gonna be adding. So when we add, she eats six grapes, plus how many grapes are left equals a total of 14, is what our equation will look like. So six plus what equals 14? We can see right here that it is C. Six plus eight equals 14. All right, 
Show how to make a 10 to find 13 minus 7, then complete the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we made a 10 and 3, and then we need to subtract 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I have 6 left. So 13 minus 7 equals 6. All right, let's look at 8. Bruce has some coins. How many coins does he have? Some. We don't know. He does give 4 to his brother. So I'm going to go question mark gives, lets us know we're subtracting, minus 4 equals, let's see, now Bruce has 9 coins. I'm going to circle both of our numbers, equals 9. How many coins did Bruce have at first? Write an equation to solve. Well, we can do it two different ways. We can count up or we can um, count, count up or count back. I'm going to count up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, um, I'm going to actually do, just add these two, 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 I know equals 13. So I know that 13 minus 4 equals 9. So we know he had a total of 9 at the beginning, but you also could have done a 4 plus 9 equals 13, or a 9 plus 4 equals 13. You could have used an addition fact to solve as well. So we know, oh, sorry. This is actually 13 here. Sorry. Just caught that. He had a total, how many did he have at first? 13. So again, you can put it however you'd like to. If you wanted to add, like I did over here, you could have that as your equation. Or that one as well will also work. All right. Let's go ahead and head to our next page, starting at number nine here. All right. Let's go through and correct this. So Maria has four pairs. Okay. So she has four four pairs. She buys some more. How many does she buy? We don't know. Now she has 12 pairs. How many pairs does Maria buy? So I know she has four pairs at one point. One, two, three, four. But she buys some more and then she has a total of 12. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to do, I'm going to count until I get to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, four pairs plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four plus eight equals 12. And how many is this some more? The some more is eight pairs on that one. And again, you could have drawn pictures of pairs. You could have done a 10 frame, a couple of 10 frames, just however you wanted to draw it out is good. All right, let's take a look at this one. The team has nine players, then two players quit. After that, five players join the team, yikes. How many players does the team have now? So let's take a look at this again. The team has nine players, then two players quit. Quitting means they're leaving, so I know that's gonna be subtraction. After that, five players join the team. If you join, we're adding. So let's go step by step. We've got two problems here that we need to solve. Use the numbers on the cards. Complete both equations. Remember, just a math sentence to solve the problem. 9 minus 2. So we have 2. 9 minus 2 equals 7. So we had 7 players. After that, five players join the team. So we have our 7 here to 7. 7 plus 5 equals 12. So now we have a total of 12 players. All right, let's look at 11. Choose yes or no to show if 7 will make the equation true. So what I'm going to do is in every single one of those boxes, I'm going to put a 7. 7, 7, 7, 7. And let's see if that's true. Um, 8 plus 7 equals 16. No, equals 15. 
7 plus 7 equals 14, yes. 17, I'm sorry, 14 minus 7 equals 7, yes. And 15 minus 8 equals 7, yes. So you should have one no and three yeses in that order. All right, let's look at number 12. Matt finds nine sticks at the park. Mabel finds seven sticks. How many sticks do they find in all? We know we're going to be adding. So 9 plus 7 equals 16. They have 16 sticks in all. And you can draw it 10 frames. You can draw pictures, however you want to solve. But 9 plus 7 equals 16. So a total of 16. All right. Let's head over to our last page here on the back side. All right. Choose yes or no to show if eight will make each equation true. So we're going to put eight inside each one of these. And then we're going to choose yes or no if it's true. Six plus eight equals 14. Yes. Eight plus eight equals eight. No. 14 minus eight equals six. Yes. 16 minus eight equals eight. Yes. Okay. Josh ate six fewer cherries than Gail. Gail ate 15 cherries. How many cherries did Josh eat? So I know that Gail ate 15 cherries. I'm going to just draw 15 cherries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, okay? So I know that there are 15 cherries. Josh ate six fewer, minus six, and then I'm gonna cross out six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they had nine left over and nine cherries. All right, the table shows how many pictures the three friends made. So Brian made uh, nine pictures of horses, one picture of a cat, three of dogs. Fernando did seven horses, six cats, two dogs. And Laurel did four horses, zero cats, and eight dogs. Choose one of the friends. Write the name of the friend you choose. How many pictures did that friend make? Oh my goodness, there's so many different answers. All right, so I am going to do... What we're going to be doing is just we're going to be adding across. So if you did Brian, it would be 9 plus 1 plus 3. I know 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So 13 pictures if you did Brian. Now maybe you did Fernando. If you did Fernando, he did 7 plus 6 plus two equals. Now I know six plus two equals eight, so seven plus eight equals 15. And then if you did Laurel, four plus zero plus eight, Laurel was four plus zero plus eight. I know four plus eight equals 12. And then you're gonna write the name of the friend you chose and how many pictures they took. Excellent job, everybody.